At this time, Paul is going to administer the oath to the, the board of directors. And at this time, if Robert Bialy, uh, John Mark Chapelet, Dana Estenson, Tom Gamble. Is Robert Jordan here tonight? He didn't make it. Jim Lincoln, Steve Mathiason, Dan McQueenie, uh, myself, Eric Pooler, Manny Rios, Ron Today, and Al Wagner. We all come up here and then I'll give the mic to Mr. Winger. Thanks, Peter. You know, while everybody's coming up, I just might comment, this is uh, the only county that actually has an oath of office, and so I think it really shows, <laughs> it shows the sincerity, because what you have, the challenges that you have had here in Napa County is probably unlike any other county, maybe Sonoma's had a little bit of it, uh, Mendocino, some of those others, where you see the high value crops that you have here, and you can get overrun because of all the people that want to move in here and see a place to put their... Um, great big uh, estate home and uh, forget about what drew them here drew them here when that was agriculture and so when I say you're the only county that does it I think you're to be commended to actually have an oath of office because every year you renew your commitment to agriculture in Napa County so I think you're to be commended for it uh, it's not something to laugh at it's something you've taken very seriously and so uh, to the board of directors and to Peter and your officers and Sandy I commend you for doing it so I'll read through the, uh, the oath so that you don't have to all repeat it, and at the end uh, we'll ask you that, uh, that you'll accept the oath, and if you don't, then Sandy has a five-pound sledge and she'll break the oath. <laughs> so as a director of the Napa County Farm Bureau, do you solemnly swear to represent Farm Bureau in the interest of agriculture to the best of your abilities and to perform the duties of director, including duties as a member of any committee of the board, in good faith, with willingness and zeal, and in a manner you believe to best serve the needs of the organization. Do you commit yourselves to adhering to all policies, examining all issues, participating in all activities, and advocating all goals of the Napa County Farm Bureau throughout your terms of service? Do you especially dedicate yourselves to the preservation of this unique natural resource that is Napa Valley? And do you pledge your maximum effort to the safeguarding of this historical, cultural, and agricultural treasure? I know you all do that, but you need to say, do you as incoming directors of Napa County Farm Bureau swear to uphold the oath of office? I do. I, do. I think, you know, folks, these guys do, and what Peter said, sometimes a thankless job being County Farm Bureau president. you got some past County Farm Bureau presidents out here because everybody knows where you live and they know your phone number, <laughs> and they don't bother calling or stopping by because they think that you can help them with their problems, and that was Farm Bureau's all about because... Uh, being a federation, the counties can pull together with the state and the AFBF to try to solve the problems that confront us. But it all starts right here, a grassroots organization. These folks and some of the board of directors that couldn't be here tonight, they do an awful lot. And sometimes the only thanks they get is a pat on the back. So why don't you give them a round of applause for everything they do. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, gentlemen.